Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to This Week in MTG Week 3 with me, Magic TG Insider. This Week in MTG is sponsored by Nerd Rage Gaming. Please go check them out online at nerdragegaming.com. Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about this week is the SCG Open Series in Phoenix. Now, the format was standard, and we had Uni Ciesel playing Green Red Aggro versus Brian Page playing, of course, our favorite deck, Blue White Delver. And normally, this is a pretty hot matchup. I mean, it's normally very close, and the winner in this one was Uni. So he is your SCG Open Series Phoenix Standard Champion. Now we're going to talk about some MTG news. So you guys remember these tokens, right? Well, they have newer, better versions of them. Check out our new Spirit Token, our new Angel Token, and in my opinion, the best, our new Human Token. Now, along with these tokens being revealed, we got two more tokens. We got a Blue Spirit and a Red Human. The Red Human is made by Thatcher's Revolt, Mark Rosewater's favorite card of Absent Restored. And we have Geist Snatch, a really cool counterspell, but I doubt it'll see play. That is uh, making that Blue Spirit creature there. Alright, now we're moving on to more MTG news, and do you guys remember this? Yep, this is the Hellavault. The Hellavault was a card in Dark Ascension, and if you guys want to see that Hellavault, this weekend at your Absinthe Sword pre-release, you may see something like this. Yes, this is the Hellavault, and do you notice how there's seals in there? Well, once you break all the seals inside, you'll get what's in there. Well, how do you break those seals? Well, this is an achievement card from that thing. So, what there is, is there's different achievements on there. For example, you can quote the flavor text of a card while playing it to get one, or cast a mythic rare card, or even just cast a spell for its miracle cost. Now, all of these, once you get these achievements, so to say, you'll get check marks on them. And once a, once everyone gets a certain number of achievements on their card, you'll open the Hella Vault. Now, what is inside this magical Hella Vault you speak of? Well, spoiler alert, if you do not want to know what's inside the Hella Vault, Skip the video. I'll have a link right there so you don't ruin what's in the Hell Vault for you. But for those of you that do want to know, let's get started. So first off, we got Avacyn Restored Spin Down Dies. Woohoo! We have oversized versions of all of the legendary angels, Sigarda, Gisela, and Bruna. Awesomeness. And then here we have Avacyn and Grizzlebrand. These are oversized versions, but again, these are 100% rumors. We're not, not sure if that's true. We also have more double face tokens because we all love that double face human wolf token from Dark Ascension. So we got angel demon tokens here from Abyssin Restore, and I think that is really cool. Okay, next up, we have a new segment here on This Week at MTG called Wizards, Why Do You Do That? Now, Wizards, Why Do You Do That? explicit the questions we asked the Wizards on why they did a certain thing. Now, we have two cards here. We have Ruinic Repetition and Mist Hollow Griffin. What do they both do? They return something to exile. What's bad about that? It's that the exile zone is becoming another graveyard. If something is to be exiled, it should be truly exiled and never come back. Even Mark Rosewater, lead designer for everything, said this in a recent post on Tumblr. My big issue is not wanting to make exile into just another graveyard. Using exile as a place to keep things that we want out of the game for some duration is acceptable. So that means stuff like Fiend Hunter and Oblivion Ring are good. But we don't want anything like Ruinic Repetition or Miss Hollow Griffin again. Now we're going to talk about Avacyn Restored Spoilers, the best part of the week. So, last week I talked about how Vexing Devil, Temporal Mastery, Tibalt, and Tamiyo are going to be the most sought-after cards in the set. But do you remember these things from uh, the previous blocks in the set? We now have the Avacyn Restored versions, and boy, do they look cool. Let's go over each one individually. So first we have Desolate Lighthouse, our very... Interesting thing. I think this is a great mana filter, and it's a great thing to have in a red-blue deck. If anyone plays red-blue decks. Here are the current prices. Nerd Rage Gaming, 235. Stern City, Troll and Toad, and Channel by Roll, all have it at 3. So guys, go buy it at Nerd Rage Gaming. Come on, it's a great deal. Our next card is probably the least exciting of all of them. Slayer's Stronghold. Now, this is an amazing card limited. Don't get me wrong. It's not too great if it's not limited. I mean, the, the mana cost is cost really aggressively, but it's not good enough. I mean, you have to get something amazing, something amazing, something amazing like Alchemist's Refuge. Current price is Nerd Edge Gaming $1.90, Star City, Channel Fireball $2.50, and Troll and Toad $3. This card is amazing. Like, 
Did Ponder just get a hundred times better? I'm pretty sure it did now that you can cast it at the end of your turn. How about Oblivion Ring? And honestly, what was one of the most underrated cards, legendary creatures from the Scars block? That's Glissa. Does Glissa seem that bad anymore? No. I'll tap five mana plus my Alchemist Rescue to kill whatever. Kill your, well, let's see, your Titan? Sure, why not? I'll kill your Elishnorn. Okay. I'll kill whatever I want, and it's first strike, so it just kills it. Six mana is not too bad to just instantly kill something and get a 3-3 three, three first strike death touch legendary creature, a zombie elf. Is it? Is it? I think that card is amazing, and it is definitely a lot of value to it. Now, there's one more card I'd like to go t talk about, and it's the land. Cavern of Souls. Now, here are the current prices. Nerd Ridge Gaming, 1925. Channel Fireball, 20. Stars of Games, 22.50. And Troll and Toad, 23. Now, this card is one of the coolest cards in Dark Ascensions. It was recently said in an article that it was made to be anti-Snapcaster Mage. Why is it anti-Snapcaster Mage? Because of this one word. Actually, it's four words. Spell can't be countered. Now, oh my god. You know, I'll play my Titan. Yeah, it's not going to be countered. I'll play my... Whatever you want, it won't be countered. And another cool thing, it adds any color. You can make this in any deck, and it just makes it instantly better. If you're playing a tribal deck, oh, I'll play zombies. All my zombies can't be countered. I'll play spirits. All my spirits can't be freaking countered. It's an amazing card, and the price will go up and up and up. So buy them at Nerd Rage Gaming right now for the best price online. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please go check out NerdRageGaming.com. You can pre-order everything store there. Check out my video on what Nerd Rage Gaming is. Find Nerd Rage Gaming on Facebook and visit them online at NerdRageGaming.com. Thanks for watching.